How is Black is King connected to Beyonce's recent movie project? How come its message became even more profound and meaningful in 2020? And why did Beyonce dedicate her new album to her son? Hi, I'm Janet. Let's find out. How the story of Black is King began The idea behind Beyonce's new visual album was born after she worked on a photorealistic computer-animated remake of Disney's The Lion King. In the film, the singer voiced Nala, one of the main characters, and the eventual queen. The movie turned out to be a hit, partially because it didn't only depend on the original soundtrack by Elton John, but it also had quite a few new songs, and Beyoncé is the one we should thank for that. Apart from voicing Nala, the singer also curated and produced the accompanying soundtrack album titled The Lion King – The Gift. Queen Bey described it as a love letter to Africa and explained that she wanted to make it as authentic as possible. But after creating this soundtrack, the singer decided that she didn't want to stop at that and began working on an even bigger project. Initially, Black is King was supposed to be a companion piece to the Lion King album. And, as the singer explained, it was created to celebrate the breadth and beauty of Black ancestry. Slowly but surely, the album transformed into what Beyoncé now calls her passion project. No one, not even the singer herself, ever imagined that in a year of hard work, she'd create such a powerful film. But since she already had experience with creating visual albums, making this one wasn't something totally new for her. Her first visual album she made was Beyoncé in 2013, and then she released Lemonade three years later. But this time, Beyoncé decided to outdo herself and created a new visual album with an even bigger statement. The incredible concept behind the album. Black is King was shot around the world, and in it, you can see glimpses of such places as South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, New York, Los Angeles, London, and Belgium. The resulting work of art is stunning, and have you noticed the parallels between the album and the Lion King movie? Black is King has quite a few of them, telling the story of a young African king's journey through loss and betrayal. His ancestors guide him along the way, and he's trying to find his love and self-identity. Doesn't it sound pretty similar to Disney's classic? You can even see a biker gang in Black is King that very much resembles the pack of hyenas from The Lion King. The album talks about bloodlines and molded thrones, and it also includes footage of flawlessly styled, gorgeous black people. Each song tells a story, and it all intervenes into one narration. Nile, for example, is an inspirational track that celebrates womanhood. Spirit allows Beyoncé to demonstrate her vocal range and represents a sense of unity and universal connections. And Brown Skin Girl is probably the most powerful song in the album. You just have to hear its lyrics to know what I'm talking about. Through preparing and researching her film, Beyoncé gave a lot of time to exploring and absorbing the lessons of past generations and the rich history of different African customs. She wanted it to be a manifesto of black history and African tradition, but she could never have guessed just how much it'd mean to people in 2020. The Black Lives Matter movement made the singer's message all the more profound and relevant. Here's what Bay wrote in an Instagram post announcing the album's release. I believe that when black people tell our own stories, we can shift the access of the world and tell our real history of generational wealth and richness of soul that are not told in our history books. Black is King introduces the viewer to a multitude of African cultures from all over the continent, and it also incorporates multiple African languages. What's more, the visual style of the album is spectacular. Once again, Beyoncé collaborated with stylist and costume designer Zarina Akers, who also created outfits for the singer's previous visual album, Lemonade. Just like always, Akers managed to deliver more striking fashion moments than one can count. Throughout the film, Beyoncé seamlessly transitions from one outfit to another, boasting major European labels in one scene and showing off independent African brands in another. This constant switching of styles allowed Queen Bey to embody a range of characters throughout her visual album. How does she do it all, you might ask? Where does she find the strength to create, produce, and write all these mesmerizing visuals and beautiful songs? Well, part of the secret is, it's a family effort. Black is King by the Carter's Clan Sure, Beyoncé is the mastermind behind it all, but her family helps her a lot along the way, inspiring and supporting her in everything. Beyoncé's mother, Tina Knowles Lawson, even appears in the visual album. You can spot her in the background of the garden tea party. 
Queen Bey's elder daughter, Blue Ivy, is also there, making multiple cameos throughout the film. She even shows off her vocal talent in Brown Skin Girl. Wow, it looks like she's going to follow in her mother's footsteps and become a successful singer as well. Plus, you can also see Bey's twin son and daughter in Brown Skin Girl and the singer's dedication at the end of the album. In this part of the film, we see sweet home video footage of her son. Interestingly, Beyonce made the whole film for her son. Dedicated to my son, Sir Carter, the singer wrote in conclusion, showing Sir's photo, and to all our sons and daughters, the sun and the moon bow for you. You are the keys to the kingdom. What a beautiful conclusion to the album. And it also ties in with the main topics of The Lion King, family, and the circle of life. It all reminds us that Bay's real legacy isn't even the film she made, but who she made it for. And of course, there's no way Jay-Z could stay away from the making of his wife's passion project. He performed the song Mood Forever in the album. Even though it's his only appearance in the film, we can be sure that he was there for his wife throughout the making of Black is King. And of course, the Knowles Carter clan aren't the only ones who made unforgettable cameos in the film. Who else was involved in the making? The whole story in Black is King is told through the voices of some of the most popular and gifted black artists. Since Bay aimed to represent diversity and connectivity in her new album, she found filmmakers from all over the world. And on screen, we can spot quite a few familiar faces. A 13-time Grammy Award winner, Pharrell Williams, joins to perform a song titled Water. The 12 Years a Slave and Black Panther star Lupita Nyong'o is one of the brown skin girl performers. Beyonce's former Destiny's Child colleague, Kelly Rowland, and even supermodel Naomi Campbell also appear in the song. In one of the most chilling tracks in the album, we can see Canadian musician Jesse Reyes. Moonchild Sinelli, a musician from South Africa, performs alongside Beyonce in the track My Power. On top of that, a myriad of lesser-known Nigerian, Ghanaian, South African, and American musicians also appear in some of the songs from Beyonce's new masterpiece. Needless to say, all of them are wearing a series of incredible outfits. What an outstanding achievement they all created, huh? How people reacted to Bay's passion project. Whether you're a fan of Beyonce or not, you have to agree that this woman never does anything halfway. And with her new visual album, she's proved once again that she's on top of her game. So it's no wonder that Black is King received so many positive reviews. It has a 100% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The Guardian declared it a feast for the eyes. And a critic from Variety claimed that the album is the boldest brand statement ever from Disney. Many celebrities who are fans of Beyonce were also thrilled to see her new work of art. Adele, for example, shared a photo on Instagram where she is posing alongside a TV displaying a scene from Black is King. Thank you, Queen, for always making us feel so loved through your art, the singer captioned the post. The help actress Octavia Spencer recommended her Instagram followers to get motivated and moved by the brilliance. The Little Fires Everywhere star Kerry Washington made a simple yet elegant post on Twitter. Beyonce, that's the tweet. Oh, and hashtag Black is King. And of course, Beyonce's fans from all over the world also can't stop gushing over her new film and discussing the visuals, wardrobe, cameos, and hidden messages of the songs. People have written on their social media that they wish they had this visual album when they were younger because it would have influenced and empowered them so much. And others recalled how Beyonce manages to come up with a new and awesome project every few years and continuously sets the bar higher and higher. Isn't that right? And what do you think about Beyonce's new visual album? Are you as excited about it as everyone else? Share in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay awesome. Thanks for watching.